Hey guys, how's it going today? Um, I decided to do another video here because some people still aren't um, understanding that um, putting chlorine into a pool does not raise your pH all that much and and I already proved it in this video up here that it does go down within three days. By the second day it's almost completely gone, by the third day it's completely gone. The small little pH rise that you get when you add chlorine. Now, again, the reason I'm doing this is because you don't need to add acid um, to offset that small rise in pH because it does go down in three days. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to even bump this up to 24 ppm shock level of, of chlorine, 24 uh, in that area of shock level chlorine, because I was talking to somebody the other day and they, um, they kind of thought that, uh, that uh, 24 ppm would raise your uh, pH to 9.0 which is, yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, at best, you might get a couple points on that, and, uh, and that's about it. So what we're gonna do is uh, use my digital meter here. Let's put it in the water. What do we got? Now we got 7.8. 7.8 in the water with no chlorine. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is add Hasa chlorine to this water here. And I'm gonna go a half a mil because I tested it earlier with this water in here, one mil, and it gave me 12 ppm. And uh, so that's, that's quite a bit for adding a gallon to a pool. So we're gonna try to get it down to about a six or a seven uh, ppm. Now let's see what we got going here. Let's put in a half a mil. Mix it around, let's see what the pH does. Okay, looks like the pH went up. About a point and a half. So we went from seven eight to about seven nine. Okay, so we went up about a point. So that's seven point nine. Seven point nine five, about a point and a half, to say a point. Okay, now what we're gonna do is find out how much chlorine we have. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use The Taylor, we're gonna go ahead and use the Taylor plunger. So this will give me exactly 25 mils. That's exactly 25 mils. And that's, uh, we're gonna use the powder. This powder here will let me know exactly how much chlorine is in here. There's no guessing. It'll give me exact. Going to 25 mils, so we're going to multiply that by 0.2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, There's 30. 36. 37, 38. 39. 40. 41, 42. So for 8.4 uh, ppm of chlorine, we went up a point. And, uh, and that's basically what you're gonna put into a, a, a 15,000 gallon pool. If you poured in a full gallon of chlorine in that 15,000 gallon pool, you're gonna get about an 8.8 um, 8 ppm chlorine. Okay, now what we're gonna do, and as you can see, that point, I wouldn't even worry about that point because like I said, in the other video that I did, the, uh, the chlorine went down anyways, okay? So we're not gonna worry about that. So what we're gonna do now is, let's put the, uh, the pH meter back in here. And we got about 
okay? Now what we're gonna do is add two mils. We got eight in there now. This is gonna give me about 12. So that's gonna be about 20. And I'll, I'll put like a mil and a half in here. So let's go um, a mil. That'll give me about 12 ppm right there. And then another half, close to a half here. I was guessing. That's gonna give me probably around, uh, around maybe mid 20s or so. Now let's mix this up. And let's see what we got. This is gonna be around 20, like I said, around 24 or so ppm right here. And it looks like we went from a 7.9 to an 8.1, okay? So we got 7.9 to an 8.1. That's so as you can see, adding probably close to another 20 ppm of uh, chlorine to this, um, it only went up another couple points. Nowhere did it even come close to coming to a 9.0. Okay, now we're gonna check out the chlorine level in this water here. Let's see what we got going here. Um, Let's get us some sample here, okay. Kind of a pain in the butt doing it this way, but you know what? It's better than doing it outside. All right, now this, we're, we're not gonna be able to use the 25 mil marker because that's just entirely too much chlorine. So we're gonna take it down to the 10 mil. So we use the flat side of the plunger and we're gonna take it all the way down and bring it back up. And now we have 10 mils in here, okay? So again, we're gonna use the Speedster. Turn this on. I got a couple spoons here. You can see how much more red that is, even just down at the uh, 10 mil marker there. That's a lot of chlorine right there. Okay, now the reason I'm gonna do this is to show you that 24 to 30 ppm, whatever, only raised it from 7.9 to 8.1, in total from 7.8 to 8.1. It didn't come anywhere near 9.0 like somebody thought. And the person also thought you'd have to pour in a gallon of acid to offset that. Now, can you imagine pouring in a gallon of acid just for that small little rise right there? That's gonna go down in about three days anyways. So let's find out what we got going here. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 40, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 49, 49. Okay, now we're gonna take the 49 and multiply that by five, a 0.5. All right, so we got 49 times or 0.5 equals, okay, yeah, that's about 24 ppm. Okay, so that's 24 ppm right here. That's about, um, that's shock level. And, uh, and we only came up from a 7.8 to an 8.1. So that's three points that came up. Um, so again, it did not come anywhere near 9.0. And that's what we're, we wanted to prove here, that when, even when you shock a pool at 24 ppm, it will not ever come up to a 9.0. At max, it's gonna come up three points. That is it. And this is pretty strong chlorine right here. This is a lot stronger, because this is Hasa chlorine. This is a fresh batch right here. This is probably more than 12.5. So, um, so, but anyways, there it is there. 24 ppm is 24 ppm, whether it's in this bucket or in a pool. It does not matter. These are gonna be the results you're gonna get. Um, you went, we went from a 7.8 to an 8.1 with 24 ppm. And, uh, 
and we went from a 1.7.8 to a 7.9 with only 8 ppm. And that's what you're going to be putting in every day when you go to your pool, um, when you pour in that gallon in a 15,000 gallon pool. And that's going to be your rise, one pH, one, um, and, and that's it. Um, so again, there is no need to add that acid because this, this rise here that I already proved in another video um, that I'm going to uh, put at the end of this video here that you can look at, that does go down um, fully by the third day, almost by the second day, totally full um, by the third day. It's done. It's gone. And it matched the other bucket. Both buckets matched um, equal pH. So that proved that pH goes down. It is only temporary and it will go down. Um, so there is no need to add acid to offset that pH rise. And we're only talking here three points from 24 on shock level. Okay, three points. Um, that might take a little bit longer to go down, maybe another day. I don't know. I haven't tested it. But it's going to go down regardless. Um, so you don't want to really pour in like 40 ounces of acid to get this down and, um, and then be 40 ounces of acid into the pool that you didn't really need to begin with. Okay, guys, that's it. You know, so um, again, we just proved that chlorine does not raise your pH all that much. Even at shock level, it does not raise your pH all that much. And like I said in the other video, it does come back down. Okay, now chlorine is 10.6 ounces for one PPM in a 10,000 gallon pool. So now that we would figure that out is, if I have a 21,000 gallon pool, I'm gonna do 21,000 divided by 10,000, which give me a 2.1. Okay, so we'll go 2.1 times the amount we wanna bring it up, which is 24. 24 times um, and then we go our 10.6 times 10.6 equals that's 534 ounces of chlorine. Now let's divide that by 128, 128 ounces to a gallon. So we'll divide that by 128. Four gallons of chlorine is what we're going to need in that 21,000 gallon pool. Um, and I had this game, the same person here tell me that no, um, two gallons in a 20,000 gallon, 21,000 gallon pool will give you 24 ppm. And it's like, you, you know, you try to tell this person, no, it won't. But some people just don't listen. So um, if that's the way it is, that's the math. That's the way it is. Four gallons in a 21,000-gallon pool will give you 24 ppm. And if you want to go up higher than that, just do the math on that. Do the math on whatever you want to bring it up to. If you want to figure it out, 8 ppm, just do the math on that. It's all the same. Um, it's not going to change. So um, and that's it, guys. Uh, once again, this is it. You, you don't need to add the acid after you add chlorine, especially when you're only adding a gallon. You know, forget about it. You don't need to. Um, even when you're shocking the pool, you really don't need to because it's going to go down in two to three days. It's going to go down. Um, so there's really no need to add that extra acid because when it goes down, you just added 40 ounces that you don't need to. That's it. Done. All right. Later.